Well, you haven't heard too much about the drought lately, but tonight a reminder that it still haunts us. Despite last year's record winter, one part of California is still sinking. Only on five, Wilson Walker shows us one of the state's most important canals is now failing. During the drought between 2012 and 2016, the San Joaquin Valley was subsiding at the fastest rate in the world. This is where valley subsidence was discovered years ago, right around El Nido, a town more famous for its elevation than its population because agriculture's demand for water here has sent pumps ever deeper into the ground, causing the valley floor to sink by dozens of feet. Yeah, I had to add some length onto these pipes because I couldn't open the door anymore. Canal skirts buckled, bridges failed, and homes started sprouting cracks. But the hope was that last year's big winter might deliver some help. As the distance gets closer, there's subsidence. As the distance gets further, there's uplift. And in this immediate area, last winter did make a difference. Some of the rain and snowmelt reached the groundwater, and that pressurizes the aquifer, actually pushing the valley floor back up. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit, you know, a couple inches maybe, something like that. It's an incredible idea that this big chunk of the valley is rising and falling, sort of like it's drawing a breath every year. But while our historic winter managed to pause subsidence here a little bit, one part of California simply will not stop sinking. And we're running into some canal capacity problems associated with subsidence as well. Doug DeFlitch is chief operating officer for the Friant Water District, where that other pocket of subsidence is turning into a crisis. The Friant Kern Canal, it runs 152 miles from Friant Dam to the Kern River. Uh, the 452 miles is gravity fed. It falls at a rate of about six inches a mile. Along the way, it irrigates one million acres of farmland and serves as a backup water supply for the low-income communities that saw wells run dry during the height of the drought. But this critical gravity-fed system is collapsing. And with subsidence, there's a section of the canal, about a 25-mile section of the canal, that's dropped down in elevation. To be precise, it's dropping by as much as one inch a month. Yeah, that's very rapid. An inch a month is, is a very, very rapid subsidence. Every time that it goes down, decreases our capacity to move water down below that point. We estimate that those, those decreases are about 60% of the design full capacity of the canal. So this canal is at about 40% capacity. Making matters worse, a portion of this water is designated for groundwater recharge, but those deliveries are now at risk. And any solution will easily cost hundreds of millions of dollars. One winter is not going to get us out of trouble. And that is the brutal lesson of last winter. Even record precipitation can't bail us out of our subsidence problems. And how often can we expect to have a record-breaking winter? If it's anything like the last 10 years, we can expect drought in the near future. In the San Joaquin Valley, Wilson Walker, KPIX 5.